。おー。<笑> Hi there. <笑> How are you? I'm well. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. What time is it in Italy?、Uh, in Italy, it's two o'clock p.m. In Japan,、And、it's nine p.m. Ah. I, I live in Japan, yes.、Uh, my name is Vladimir. But I've been living in Japan. So I understand now why there was written Tokyo after Bulgaria.、Uh, yes, for a moment I thought there existed a town in Bulgaria that was called <laughs> Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet. Maybe in the future. Who knows? The reason I. I, I am Bulgarian, but the reason、mm-hmm. I don't usually write my country of origin. Mm-hmm. But because of the war in Ukraine, I just want to、oh. put people at ease that I'm not Russian. <laughs> <Okay> . That's <laughs> why、uh, I、uh, make sure I say that I'm Bulgarian. I am Bulgarian. I am Bulgarian.、Mm-hmm. It's not a lie, but it's usually just Japan. Because, I mean, this is my second home.、Mm-hmm. So,、And、how long? You... Sorry? Yes? Where did you move to、uh, Tokyo? When? Why? Ah, why? Because Japan is better than Bulgaria. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Simple reason, yes. Much, much better. Have you been to Asia? No, unfortunately not.、Uh, I've, I haven't traveled much until now. So. Yes,、oh, really? In...、Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought in your bio it says that、mm-hmm. you've traveled. Yes, I traveled. But、uh, in, I've traveled to Australia,、uh, to、um, other European countries, but not really outside Europe、uh, apart from Australia. I see. Well, okay. I think Japan is closer in terms of flight time than Australia.、Mm-hmm. Yes, I think so. I wanted to、uh, talk to you about.、Um, So, how long have you been teaching、uh, English, Paul? Well, actually,、uh, I've taught Italian before, but not English. So, this is the first time I am teaching. I'm your first student. Yes. I wanted to talk about your, how to say, teaching philosophy or learning philosophy. Yes. Can you open your profile? Or it's、uh, too difficult? Oh, it's on your phone. Okay. I can send you the text of your bio. Would it be easier for you?、Uh, yes, I, I guess it would be. Okay, okay. In the chat. If you don't mind, let's go sentence by sentence and、uh, just tell me what, what you think and、uh, what's the rationale behind it. Okay, let's start with the first one. Could you please read? I really enjoy teaching and learning languages. That's why I've been participating in language exchanges for five years now, both traveling around. Participating? And with, yes. How do you spell participating?、Uh, P A R T E S I P A T I N G. It's a one, one is. <laughs> it's P A R T I. I? P A R T I C I. Okay. That's, yeah. You said、uh, later on that we learn by making mistakes, so I think that's one way to learn. You think there's an I instead of the E? I don't think.、Uh, I know.、Uh, excuse me, let me just of check. Of course, please. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Language exchange. That's something I want to ask you, but.、Uh, Yeah, that's what, something I, I want to talk a little bit more about.、Uh, yeah. Language exchange, because I, I'm not sure I understand what language exchange、uh, actually means.、Uh, well, But that's,、uh, that's okay, I, we'll come back to that. Both traveling and remotely. Yeah. You mean in person and online? Yeah, I've done one. 
uh, exchange in person in Australia, as I mentioned. And then I've, uh, I've mainly done English exchanges, uh, but remotely. So you mean online? For example, yeah, yeah. Uh, on those exchange websites, for example, uh, I talked to three people who lived in the, in the United States and uh, a girl from... Okay, let's go about language exchange. Okay, so what does language exchange mean? What it is means it? That, <laughs> it means that I uh, speak with another person who is trying to learn my mother tongue and I'm trying to learn their mother tongue and so we just talk to each other so you're exchanging uh, so exchanging words and grammar yeah, we we speak uh, i think we we were mainly chatting not really uh teaching grammar to each other uh, what are you exchanging we, exactly exchanging words well, yeah, yeah we were just talking about uh language learning and living in different countries are we exchanging languages now? Uh, right now, I'm doing a language exchange in German. Ah, no, 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 yes, with me. Are, are we doing uh, a language exchange? No, now we're, like, I am... Uh, but English well, is not your actually, native language. So are, well, are we theoretically... So if we were to switch, you start speaking Italian and I start speaking Bulgarian, would that, be, would that constitute a language exchange? Uh, if I knew a little bit of Bulgarian, uh, then yes, but it would be impossible for me to do so since I couldn't understand, like I wouldn't understand what, what you would say in Bulgarian. So language so, exchange requires some basic knowledge? Uh, yeah, I okay. think so. No, 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 of course this is your definition. And once you have a basic knowledge and you start exchanging language. So I, I give you language for five minutes and then you give me your language for five minutes. That's how it works. Yes, for example, <laughs> usually it's longer, but... Oh, 15 yeah, minutes, yes. Yeah. What do you think language exchange is? No, no, I think it's a waste of time. It's an absolute waste of time. I don't understand what... Uh, I know what language exchange means. Uh, what I don't understand is why do people do it. I just ah, okay. I simply don't understand it. Okay, well, I think it's uh, it's just a cheaper way of uh, having the chance to speak to a native. I think uh, conversating with people in the language you're trying to learn is useful, uh, don't you? No, no. <laughs> okay, so you have a more maybe theoretical approach no, for no, just no. teachers. You think that just teachers should uh, speak with... Uh, Language students? Mm. You want me to teach you how to teach? No, I'm just asking why do you think language exchange is not useful? To me, language is a tool for acquiring knowledge. Language is a tool for getting information, that's all. To me, speaking is a byproduct of acquiring knowledge, of knowledge acquisition. Language okay. is not for speaking. Language is not for speaking. So to me, it, to me, exchanging language makes no sense. Uh, so you... Uh, we exchange well, knowledge. We exchange information. Speak for the sake of speaking makes no sense to me. Uh, yeah, but for example, you learned English, right? And in order to learn English, and you learned English probably to gain knowledge uh, of some kind. No, 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 no. Le no. So imagine like a spoon. What is a spoon? A sp what is a spoon? It's a tool to get things that you get want to food. eat. Get food. Food into the yeah. mouth. Language is like, language is a tool for getting knowledge into the brain. Yeah. Okay. okay? So I didn't learn English to get knowledge. No, no, no. I acquire knowledge through English, and language is a uh, language is a byproduct. It's like a bonus. Speaking is a byproduct. I usually say speaking is a byproduct of acquiring knowledge. 
language okay. is not for speaking. You see, one of the biggest problem is that language is associated with the word speak. We usually ask each other, do you speak English? Mm-hmm. How many languages do you speak? I think this is the biggest problem. The word speak, it should be understand. We shouldn't use the word speak with language in the same sentence. The question should be, do you understand English? Do you understand French? Do you understand German? Yes, but sometimes, uh, for example, I understand written Spanish because it's similar to Italian, but I don't have the ability to speak Spanish because uh, Spanish words are not in my active vocabulary. So if I were to travel to Spain and live there, uh, I wouldn't be able to do so easily. So I would have to learn Spanish and be able to speak it too, not just understand it. Like maybe over, I don't know, a year, I could be able to speak it too, but it would take longer, I guess. So it would be just easier to study new words so that I can use them more, you know, faster. And and so I think for that, speaking in that language and just get some exercise will be useful. Yeah, this is very hard to explain. <laughs> speaking is a byproduct of knowledge acquisition. So, for example, in Italian, a simple example. Let's talk about Bulgaria during World War II in Italian. Can you talk about it? It's your native language. I'm not talking about Spanish. In your okay. Na- so you're saying that even if I speak Italian, since I don't know anything about what happened in Bulgaria in the Second World War II, I will not be able to, to say anything about it. Exactly. Yeah, but the reverse could be true as well, meaning that if I knew everything about what happened in Bulgaria in Seven World, Second World War II, uh, and you asked me to, to say so, in to explain it to you in Bulgarian, I wouldn't be able to say it to you because I don't know Bulgarian. So... I think you have to talk. Are... Language is a tool for acquiring knowledge. Speaking is a byproduct of knowledge acquisition. So if you acquire the knowledge through Bulgarian, you will be speak, able to speak Bulgarian. If you acquire yeah, it through yeah. Italian, of course you won't be able. So this is similar to this. Imagine you play the piano all your life. Mm-hmm. And for example, you know how to play Let It Be. You have Let It Be in your head. But suddenly I tell you, okay, let's play it on the guitar. You have it in your head, you have the song, but you won't be able to play it on on the guitar because you you haven't learned the song through that instrument. You understand? So if you so the problem with uh, language learning is people acquire knowledge knowledge through their native language, and then they try to learn a bit of vocabulary and grammar in a foreign language and try to speak. It doesn't work that way. The the reason you speak English is because. I, I, I am 100% sure, you read a lot of things in English, you watched a lot of movies in English, you, your focus was on the information. When I say knowledge, information, I prefer the word knowledge because knowledge means interest. Information is more kind of uh, 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 surface level, kind of in one ear, out the other, like news and weather and that kind of... Knowledge is more, is deeper. So my assumption is that you acquired a lot of, not a lot, but a good amount of knowledge through English. Plus, I'm sure that probably you spend a lot of time consuming entertainment, Hollywood or British. Am I right? Yeah. Exactly. So that's why your speaking is a byproduct of of that knowledge and information con- uh, consumption. But the problem is that if we start talking about serious topic topics, you will st- you will struggle because you spend most of your time probably listening and less reading. Am I right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yes, you haven't acquired much knowledge through English. You st- your knowledge is mainly through Italian. Am I right? Well, yeah, I mostly when I read things, they are in Italian, not exactly. in English. Like I read some things yes. in English, but yeah, in my case, it's ninety-nine percent is in English. The things I'm interested in, deeply interested in, deeply. I, I don't read because I want to learn English. 
I, I don't care about the language. I care about the information knowledge. So language exchange makes no sense to me because there is no knowledge being exchanged. Do you understand? You have one life. Don't waste it.